A few weeks back, I made a video talking about this brand new Valkyrie Turbo, which is actually the very first compact weapon mounted light that uses LEP technology and is actually approved to be sold in the United States. This is a first of its kind in our country, which is very exciting. But with that said, since it is a brand new product that no one has really gotten in this country before, there was a lot of pushback and a lot of questions about what this technology means for the weapon mounted light industry and if you even need it for a small handgun. So in this video, I'm going to talk about some of those concerns about the Valkyrie Turbo, how it actually makes sense to have on your pistol and how it can really help you out in a self-defense situation. Now, since this is such a new product for us, and we want to get it in as many hands as possible, I do want to give one away in this video to a lucky winner in the comments section. Now, in order to enter to win, all you gotta do is make sure you're subscribed to this channel, like this video, give it a thumbs up to show your support, and leave one comment in the comments section on what you think about the LEP technology in the weapon mounted light industry. I'm really interested to hear your thoughts and what you think about the capabilities of LEPs in this industry. Now with that said, let's go ahead and talk about some of the key features of the Valkyrie Turbo and how it really is awesome. Now I'm not a firearms instructor myself. But I have been in this industry for the past seven and a half years, and I've had the opportunity to talk to a lot of instructors who have decades of experience, even in low light training. And one of the things that they always say is that you want to get a flashlight on your firearm that has the highest intensity possible. Good thing about that is you're going to distract and also disorient a potential attacker, which is obviously what you want with a high powered weapon mounted light. Now, this has a candela of over 70,000 coming out of a light that's only 3.55 inches long, and it even has removable batteries, so you can change the CR123As in here while you're out in the field. Now, when we first announced that the Valkyrie Turbo has a beam distance of 530 meters, a lot of people thought that was crazy for it being on a small handgun. Are you going to shoot 530 meters away with a handgun? Probably not. But do you want that increased intensity at closer distances? Absolutely. Do you want to have the highest intensity beam you possibly can get at 20 meters, 30 meters, 50 meters? Absolutely. So even though it has a capability that is extreme, it actually makes the light that much better at closer distances, especially in a self-defense scenario. We're now taking a look at the Valkyrie Turbo. As you can see, that center hot spot has just incredible intensity to it. The candela on this thing is truly remarkable. I mean, I can't believe that a beam can have that much intensity out of a flashlight that's only three and a half inches and you can put it on a firearm. So now we're taking a look at the PL Pro and you can see that it's a lot harder to see that beam intensity. It kind of just looks like the areas where I'm shining it are a little bit lighter, but you're not getting that super intense hotspot like you're getting with the Valkyrie Turbo. I'm liking the performance on this Balder Pro R, but keep in mind that center hotspot has nowhere near the intensity of the Valkyrie Turbo. The Turbo is just going to blow it out of the water in terms of beam distance, but again, it doesn't have that spill. So that's the only thing you really need to keep in mind, but if you get a Valkyrie Turbo, I can guarantee you, you are going to love the intensity and the beam distance of this thing because it really is remarkable. Again coming out of a light that's only three and a half inches long, amazing. Now beyond this being one of the highest intensity lights that you can put on your handgun, one of the coolest things about LEP technology is it does not get anywhere near as hot as a standard LED. Now if this was a regular flashlight, me putting it on my hand, especially with this intensity, it would probably start burning my hand, right? Well, guess what? I can barely feel it. And when I touch the head of the light right here, it's barely starting to get warm. It doesn't stay completely cool, but it barely gets warm. And again, if this was a traditional flashlight with this much intensity, it would be extraordinarily hot to the point where I probably would barely even be able to touch it right now. 
A good thing about that too is it's going to have better longevity over time because the internal components of the light itself do not get as hot. Also, keep in mind while you're shooting, the front of your gun, including the barrel, is going to get extremely hot anyways. So it helps that the light stays cooler when that front of your gun is getting super, super hot. So we've got some of the best intensity that you can get on the market, which I explained is an absolute must in a self-defense situation, as well as the light not getting that hot. It also has really nice run times because of that. And again, like I mentioned, it does have removable batteries, so you can just swap them out in the field on the go. Cool thing about this too is it also features our swing arm technology here to mount it. It has a GL insert for the Glock rails and it also has a 1913 insert that it comes with as well if you're going to put it on something that is that size. So we talked about the performance, the unique features that this light has compared to the other weapon mounted lights on the market, and the fact that you can try to win one in this YouTube video. So with all of that out of the way, I really appreciate you watching this. Hopefully this cleared up some questions that you have about this compact LEP. With the intensity, with the capabilities of this thing, with the run times, the fact that it doesn't even get hot, with the removable batteries and the super easy to use switches for constant and momentary on and it even has a strobe mode as well this is something you should absolutely add to your collection especially for any new firearms that you're going to purchase in the future if you want to check these out i do have the link to our website olightstore.com in the description of this video and again don't forget to enter to win one of these before you move on to another video thank you so much for watching this we really appreciate it and we'll see you guys next week